I'm going to talk to you about expropriations today. Watch to the end of this video where I'm going to explain the factors considered when they come up with the expropriated value for your property. Starting off, an expropriation happens when private property is taken for public use, either in full or in part. Some of the reasons for why properties are expropriated is because they need to build highways, roads, schools. In this case, the property can be taken over by a public authority, which can include a municipality, school board, or the province of Ontario. Expropriations in the province of Ontario are governed by the Expropriations Act, and the Expropriations Act requires that the owner is paid fair compensation for the land that's being taken. When looking at the factors considered when a property is being expropriated, there's four things that'll help determine value. The first of those things is market value. When we look at market value, we're trying to figure out what a reasonably informed person would pay for that property given its highest and best use at the time the property is being expropriated. The second is disturbance damages. Third, we have damages for injurious affection. This includes things like the reduction in market value to the remaining land, or a reduction in value caused by construction work, or a reduction in market value caused by the type of thing that is happening on the property after it's been expropriated. Whatever the municipality, the school, or the province ends up using it for could adversely impact the actual remaining land value as well. Or lastly, a combination of all of these factors. The last factor considered is business losses. If you like content like this, like, comment, share. Your feedback tells us that you like it and we're gonna keep putting it out based on that. So Ricky Rathor here again, broker owner at Emax Metropolis, real estate lawyer with Orbic Professional Corporation. We'll see you again next time. Bye for now.